Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Nova Kids. It's nice to see you. You are all looking great today. In fact, it feels like forever since I've laid eyes on you all. Do you get it? Those are some of the sight jokes that I've been practicing this week. All month long, we are talking about taking a closer look and to focus and what it means to have faith. Faith is trusting in something we can't see because of what we can see. And with our own personal faith, we can trust God no matter what, even though we can't see him all the time. All right, here's the so-and-so show, so have a look. All right, <clears throat> scalpel. Scalpel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prep the top for me, please. Mm-hmm. Prepping the top. Top is prepped. Prep the base. Prepping the base. Base is prepped. Mm -hmm. Tweezers. Tweezers. Here's where it gets really delicate. Mm -hmm. Wipe, 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 wiping, 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 wiping. Wiped. <clears throat> You're welcome. <sighs> All right, close it up. Closing it up. <clears throat> you did it. Nah. We did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, feed me. Feeding you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon, and I am John. This is the so-and-so show, buddy, you okay? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, Brandon. I'm, I'm focused and no one's gonna catch me not focusing. Oh, what was that? Did you lose your focus? Oh, man! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do better this time. Why, John? Brandon, Why? I have struggled with being able to focus my whole life. There is, are always things competing for my attention. Yeah, like, like having guests on the show? Yes, exactly, like having a guest on the show. It, it totally breaks my concentration. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Go. Seat. <laughs> yep, right there. Okay. One moment, please. Alrighty. What are you? Um... Hello. Guten Tag. How are you both? We're focused. We're good, Hans, thank you so much. Can you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Hello, my name is Hans Decibel. I am an audio engineer with a recent interest in Foley artistry. Huh? And what is that exactly? I am so glad you asked this question to me. Thank you. Many of the sounds we hear in film and in television are not recorded live but I'm such an after the fact by a Foley artist. Oh, that's very interesting. So yeah. if I'm watching a movie and, yeah. and uh, I see someone walking up some, some creaky stairs, yeah. the stairs don't actually have to be creaky. They can be added later by a Foley artist. The this yeah. is correct. Wow, that's, that's cool. W yeah. What's in the suitcase? I have brought with me here today a selection of audio properties that I use in the creation of my sound effects. I will now make the sound and you will guess what is the sound. Oh, so it's like a game. Yeah. I have brought blindfolds. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Here, put it in my hand. I'm not going to look at them. Okay. Right. Okay, All I guess right. it goes like that. Huh. Okay. Oh, this makes it really hard to focus. Okay, John, you can focus with your uh, ears, too, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. All right. Listen. That's right. All right. All right, right, right. Okay, ready. 
Very good. That's the sound of a suitcase opening. This is correct. He hasn't started yet, John. Whatever, I am focused. <sighs> okay. Sound number one. Oh, oh, oh that, that, that sounds like my dog, Brutus, running down the hallway to greet me when I get home from work. Is that you, Brutus? Come here, Brutus. Come here. Aha! Uh -huh. I have fooled you. This was not Brutus, but the sound of paper clips oh. on a cutting board, making the tippy tappy sound of canine claws on laminate flooring. Sound number two. Oh, uh, that's a horse! This is correct. <laughs> Number three. Oh, I know. Oh man, that sounds just like a bird flapping its wings. Whoa, where is it? <laughs> Sound. Number four. Oh, it's so cold in here. Is this snow on the ground? No! It is just a bag of cornstarch! Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm slipping. I, I hope I don't fall and break a bone. Ouch! Oh. Oh. It's the pain! Ouch! Are, are, you, are you all right? Do we need to call an ambulance? Ah. Uh, ah. What? I have fooled you again. This was only the sound of celery ribs. Oh! Wow, that was incredible! Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll never look at celery the same way again. Mm. And yeah. cornstarch, that's amazing. <laughs> this is correct. <clears throat> Ordinary things become extraordinary when you open your eyes and ears to the possibilities. Oh, that's a really cool way to put it. I will now explore the space to find ordinary things to make extraordinary. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, okay. Think this is a good idea? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. oh! What in the world? <sighs> ha! Ha! I have fooled you for a third time. By dropping this box of knives and forks on the ground, I made you believe I was destroying your room. It is a good joke. Yes. Yes, that's very funny. You know what? I think that's all the time we have. Hey! Hey! Ha! Ha! Okay. My focus is completely gone now. Then let's get back on track. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Kellen. <laughs> Kellen. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. What you listening to? Oh, um, I was listening to an old time radio show. That's what people did for home entertainment before television. I used to listen to them as a kid. How old are you, Kellen? Actually, I think it would be really cool if we could tell today's story like an old radio show with sound effects and everything. Is Han still there? Yeah. How did you... Take it away, Kellen. Okay, I now present Saul on the Road to Damascus, radio style. Jesus had been killed. And the people who didn't like what Jesus stood for thought they heard the last of them. But then a rumor started going around that Jesus came back from the dead. And more and more people were becoming followers of a new Jesus movement called The Way. They had to be stopped. And one of the people in charge of stopping them was Saul of Tarsus. <laughs> I am Saul of Tarsus, and I shall do everything I can to oppose Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you there! Who? Me? Yes, you. Are you a follower of the way? I am! Seize him! <laughs> Saul went from place to place to find Jesus' followers and have them put in the jail. And even put to death. Saul asked permission from the high priest to travel to other cities so he could arrest even more followers of the way. And that's why Saul was traveling on the road to Damascus. Saul 
Saul and the men he was traveling with had letters that gave Saul permission to arrest any Jesus follower he wanted. He was determined to complete his mission. He was focused. But then an incredible thing happened. A light from heaven flashed all around Saul and his companions. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul heard a sound, but they were unable to speak. The men helped Saul to his feet, but when Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. So he had to be led to Damascus by hand. For three days, Saul didn't eat or drink anything. What will happen next? Will Saul regain his sight? Will he continue to oppose Jesus? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. You can't leave it like that, Kellen. That's how all old time radio shows end. You always have to wait until next time. Or you can read what happens next yourself. It's right here in Acts chapter nine. I don't like waiting. All right then. Besides, there's a lot to learn with just this part of the story. Saul was so focused on his mission that he was missing what was really important. It took a bright light on a road for God to really get Saul's attention. Okay, I get it. So focusing is a bad thing. No, I just think we need to check in with God a lot more to make sure we're focused on the right things. Great idea. Thanks, Kellen. Mm -hmm. Yep, you guys know where I'll be. I'll see you around. That was fun. I agree. Hey. Much ha fun. Hans, you're still here. Yeah. yeah. I am here to say. Reveal the question. Maybe a little more energy. Than... Ah. Reveal the question. That worked. Yeah. Uh, the question of the day is, how does God try to get your attention? Hey, that's a good question. You know, he's never appeared to me in a bright light, I can tell you that. <laughs> me either. Hans? Yeah, many times. How does God try to get your attention? Is it like a small voice inside you or a big crack of thunder? Or is it something we've never thought about? Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. Yeah. <laughs> Sound waves. So mysterious. Mm, you're telling me. Hey, we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Uh, oh, is that me? Yeah. Oh, all right. Brandon, do you know what today is? I do, John. What it's is it? It's our 150th episode. It's true. 150 episodes. That's right. So let's celebrate. Hey, count down with me, everybody. Come on, come on. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. See you next week? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Hi, I'm Addison, and this is this month's memory verse. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my face. This is my face.
focus all of my days I know where my hope is I live it life I shot the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on looking, looking Looking to you For where I'm going Knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking off, I want to remind you all of the bottom line this week. Knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. This week in our Bible story, we saw how God opened Saul's eyes and he saw things differently. He saw things through God's eyes. And God can still do that today. He can open our eyes to see things differently. And He can do it in lots of different ways. He can do it through experiences. Maybe you're walking through the park on a beautiful sunny day and you just take notice of the beautiful world that God has created and you feel closer to Him. Or maybe you're listening to your favorite worship song and God teaches you something new about Him. Or maybe you have a special friend that always shows you God's love. Maybe you read the Bible and you see the countless stories of how God changed the way people saw experiences, situations, or other people. No matter how you get to know God, know it's always worth it. And He will change the way you see other people other things, situations. All right, have a great week and we will see you back here next week. Bye everybody.